We're here in the beautiful and famous Lamar Valley in Yellowstone. We're in the very northeast part and uh, this is the spot that everybody comes to to see the wolves. We are so excited to be here. So we spent the la night last night in Montana near Gardiner, which is about an hour and a half drive. So we had a couple of bears in, the, uh, in our camp last night. We weren't sure if they're grizzly bears or black bears, but they uh, definitely came through camp. Chris woke me up in the middle of the night because she heard them when she uh, couldn't sleep. She was up and uh, of course she heard them walking by the tent, calling to each other, you know, <laughs> making little bear sounds. Yeah, she even went on YouTube this morning to verify that those were the sounds she heard. <laughs> anyway, we're here waiting for wolves and I want to take a second to give a massive shout out to LensRentals.com. They sent me out the 200 to 400 F4 Nikon to try out. Uh, they sent out Chris the 200 to 400 Canon with the 1.4 teleconverter in it. If you guys ever want to rent lenses, like for wildlife, if you don't do it too much, or if you want to try out a lens or a camera body before buying it, I highly recommend renting them. And Lens Rentals does a really good job. They send it out to you, and they pay for shipping and everything to send it back. They send you a box to send it back in and everything. So it's a it's a great way to try out a lens or a camera body. They've been kind enough to work with us. They are going to give you guys a 15% discount, but you have to click on the link in the description and then use the discount code Perea15. We're waiting for wolves now, and it's just uh, That's an eagle. yeah, just a waiting game. Oh, we got an eagle. been here for 10 minutes and we got wolves off in the distance playing in a field. I'm at 400 millimeters and they're so far away that I can barely see them, but they are moving around. Chris has got the 1.4 converter, so she's at about 620 meters or so, or 620 millimeters. We got some wolves running around, so what a, what a great way to start the morning. And oh, you can't even see them like with your eyes, you can't even see them. I can barely pick them out at 400 millimeters, so you come out here and want to see wolves, you better have 600 for sure, minimum. A grizzly bear, actually a few grizzly bears out there and a pack of wolves. I had a black wolf and a, a grizzly bear kind of crossing paths a little bit. It's so smoky though, it's hard to get a real clear shot, but I'm uh, getting some of this video. It's really nice. I mean, it's just such a cool thing. They're so far out there though. The grizzly bear looks like it's coming in. I hope it keeps coming in anyway, but yeah, I really think the 400, I'm way underpowered. I think I need something like 600 or so. I mean, they are way, way out there. So I'm zoomed in a bit on the back of my camera here so you guys can see what I'm looking at because it, they're so far off that, but that's a, a black wolf there. On, it looks like it's on a carcass. Got some of those black birds around there and uh, see the wolf chasing them off. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, so far guys, we've seen four grizzly bears, a pack of wolves. I think there's five of them. There might be a few more. And now we have a pronghorn down by the river over here and an eagle <laughs> all in probably less than an hour. But if I'm honest, I think minimum say 600 millimeters for the Lamar Valley, probably for Yellowstone in general, uh, 600 would probably be the minimum I would go to. So if I was to rent another lens, which I'm sure I will, definitely go with the 600 because uh, yeah, everything is so far away. I can barely see the wolves. They look like dots um, just looking at them with my bare eyes. But even at 400 millimeters, it's just not, you're not gonna get that close unless they're way up here, which you know, obviously this morning with it being smoky and also just being so far away, it's, uh, it's pretty tough. But either way, it's been so beautiful seeing this this morning. Stay here for a while, I think, and just kind of hang out and see what happens because things just keep kind of coming out of the woods. Uh, which is pretty cool so we'll probably move around stay in the valley uh probably throughout the day so yeah definitely looking forward to seeing uh what else we can find so we were driving a little ways down the road and saw a bunch of people pulled over looks like we have a wolf pack that just killed something out there there's birds everywhere you got like five wolves out there definitely on a kill i'm not sure what it is yet these wolves are so important to Yellowstone. You know, they pretty much they got hunted out in like the 1920s. They weren't reintroduced until like late 90s, 95, something like that. What happened was 
the uh, elk and bison started overgrazing really bad. So when they reintroduced the wolves and that, they 15 of them they imported from Canada. They changed everything. I mean, they didn't change the complete ecosystem, you know. They started hunting the elk and the bison. Uh, the elk and the bison started avoiding some of the areas that they used to go to because they were getting hunted by these wolves. The trees and the grass and everything started growing back. And then the beavers came and started eating the trees and making the dams. The waters rose in areas, more fish and more grizzly bears and just completely changed the whole ecosystem just by reintroducing those those wolves those are so important to this this place and uh, to be able to see them out here eating this is a bison kill actually and uh, being able to see that is pretty awesome. off the side of the road there's a baby osprey up in the tree and what I'm doing is I put my D850 in DX mode and I think it's either 20 or 24 megapixels still even at the DX mode and that gives me a little bit of extra reach as well that way I can uh, get it essentially about a 620 millimeters hopefully the mom comes back is what I'm waiting for here Went and had lunch in Mammoth Springs, took a nap, and then came back out here to Lamar Valley. The smoke all blew out uh, this afternoon. It's so much clearer than this morning. We're back on that bison kill. There's a coyote out there, and then one of the black wolves is back behind him, and you can see the coyote just uh, keep looking over towards him, like making sure that he's not getting too close, and he's feeding on that bison right now. There's also a bald eagle over there, which is pretty cool too. So right now we're just waiting because that kill is still they just killed that this morning and what's probably going to happen is either coyotes more wolves or bears are going to come and scavenge that so that's what we're waiting for here probably going to be here till sunset and just watch and see what happens yeah, yeah, yeah. See him? <laughs> so mike and i we are sitting here in an area that we spotted a horned owl a few days ago and we hope that she's coming back and is hunting in the same area. 